I just I Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, let's have sex in the bank. Telling her open a safe. I hate a privileged rapper who don't even know what it takes. The diamonds they hit like a rainbow. That's cause the neck is a frame. Her, whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, let's have sex in the nines. Do it. Breaking and bending the spines. Do it. I hate a privileged rapper that they had to hit six signs. Do it. Niggas be full of excuses. That lady taking their time. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Look at me dead in my eyes, you see all the times that I had to go slide Too many sticks, we go to war with whoever ain't never been by Too many sticks, I was that your ops and none of them died Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up Why you pull up at one in the morning and sit on the edge of the bed? Testing emojis, telling got eggplant, bust the wind over her head Catching my side of the studio, make him repeat what he said Yeah Let's have sex in the car. The Maybach came with a bar. I'm wiping my dick with a bra. Snipe his ass. He got hit in the head for fraud. Ops get undivided attention. I give them my all. How you come over the spot when you know it's your time of the month? How? Make a distance. See how fast you go from the boot to a blunt. She say she hungry. I gave a dick for bun. Send me my whole fee. I don't do back ends and flanks. No, no, let's have sex in the bank. Tell her to open a safe. I hate a privileged rapper who don't. What's up, y'all? Welcome back to your girl's channel. And y'all can tell because, I mean, like, who can't tell, baby? If you can't tell the quality difference, are your eyes even working? <laughs> I told y'all, if you follow me on Instagram, I told y'all, once y'all see me get this camera, gonna be recording a lot more i didn't know the last issue with my last camera was the screen broke and i had the canon g7x i just got the um sony zv1 like a wide angle lens on it and baby it's eating the girls <laughs> but the only thing different about this camera is the viewfinder is right here so i definitely gotta make sure i'm looking right here because if i look right here it look like I ain't looking at y'all the whole time I am. But I'm gonna set y'all down because this camera is heavy as fall. Anyways, y'all, let's get into the video. So, purpose of this specific video is a weekly vlog and to maintain and try to give y'all as much footage because y'all been missing me or all of that. It is actually Sunday. It's 10.04. It's 10.04 right now at night. Nine in the morning at night. And y'all... Why are you so dialed up? What's going on? I actually just came from skating and baby, the vibe's just there, okay? Did vlog any of that because I just wanted to live in the moment and just finally just get me time. Um, and we had a blast. So I'm also vlogging because tomorrow is Tayden's first day at school. And I'm so happy for him, y'all. I'm so freaking happy for him. But I'm yet, I'm scared and I'm nervous because I know putting your trust in somebody else that's not the parent or family is very hard to do like when Layla went to school she was like dominant like I want to get on the school bus and I'm like Layla, are you sure like I can drop you off at school she wanted to and I let her do it and literally she loves it she likes riding the school bus I feel like it's just I think it's a kindergarten thing I think it's a little phase but hopefully <laughs> it keeps up because she liking it and I love it, okay? As far as Tayden, y'all know Tayden has autism. So Tayden has a disability. So it's just nerve wracking because he has, he's talking y'all and he's saying a lot of words, but he cannot form a sentence or he cannot tell me what he wants. Um, like he's not as verbal as um, he could be. And if, if I was trying to get something out of him, he probably wouldn't even tell me so. It's just, I know this school is best for him. Autism Center, basically like a school, but they call it, they don't like to call it school, but I'm gonna call it school because baby, you're gonna be there 8.30 to 4.30. So it's school in my eye. I gotta pack a book bag, lunchbox every day. Like it's school to me, okay? Actually tonight, I'm gonna show y'all me packing everything because I have yet to pack everything that I need for him. But they're gonna teach him everything he needs to know. Speech, they're gonna get him potty trained. You have to bring diapers um, just because that's the phase. Now he can go to the potty y'all. 
it's just because he's not he's not non-verbal but but because he's not as verbal he can't tell me oh this is when i have to potty you know so he goes to the restroom if i put him on the potty he will go to the potty but tonight we're i got a lot of his stuff at target today <clears throat> everything he needed for his first day oh and i also gotta fill out those forms super duper excited for that for his first day tomorrow i have a package i think it's the kids dresser i need to put that up that's actually a sponsor that i have to do but really y'all i just wanted to start it off by saying welcome to the weekly vlog I, let me take this off because baby these is getting my nerves i was trying to look cute but baby these are getting my nerves i'm gonna start it off by saying tomorrow is literally going to be the first day of school for Tayden. i'm so excited um but i'm gonna show you everything i got him i'm gonna show y'all me putting stuff together because they gave me a little bin that i had to put like all his snacks in so i got him a whole bunch of snacks and whatnot i need to take this off like what am i doing let me take that. there we go. also i need to pack his lunch so i'm gonna actually do that tonight and I'm gonna start getting the habit of packing lunches at before, you know, before today, because all I have to do, they said they have a, a microwave and they can heat it up. Now with Layla lunches, if they don't have a microwave, you literally have to bring something that they can eat right then and there. So I have to pack her like cold lunches and stuff, which I hate, but because I'm packing his, I might as well pack hers, but their lunches may be different because Tayden School offers heating it up. So yeah, y'all, we're gonna do all that tonight, prepping for tomorrow, and then we're gonna do our little routine or whatever, just because, you know, why not? But, oh, also, y'all might be asking, like, where's the baby? I just put her to sleep, and um, literally just put her to sleep. And I've been pumping, y'all, I've actually bought me a new breast pump. Haven't used it, I'm gonna show y'all on camera because it just got here today through Amazon. And um, I needed, I had that manual one for so long. I'm now finna use the ones that just do it on its own and we'll see how that go. But I've been doing really good with breastfeeding and pumping and storing. Um, so I need to stop talking, I'm talking a lot. I'm just gonna go and show y'all his stuff that I got him. Okay y'all, so this is some of his stuff. His dad actually bought him these two pair of shoes, but I didn't even try it on him because i don't think they're gonna fit because they're a 10 c he got the wrong size he actually fits a size 11 so that may not work and i'm gonna keep it a buck with you but i'm gonna show y'all what they look like he's probably gonna have to return them though um i don't know nothing about shoes so don't ask me what type but these are some which i like these okay and then i really like this pair this pair looks really cute like yeah. this is the pear honey okay stop playing with my son just know right now just by looking at them that they're too small and that he's gonna have to return these ted is like 11 pushing 12 so i don't know about that this is the bin that they gave me for um Tayden for his snacks this is all his snacks and stuff I ended up giving him getting him a uh, bluey isn't this bluey I don't know who this is y'all tell me who this is I don't know who this is but isn't this bluey ain't that who that is on there but it's um a straw cup hopefully he will take this because I've never used a straw cup on him but they did say he needs a cup these are the snacks he got some Welch's fruit snacks and it's 40 of them. I made sure I got a lot because I got to fill that whole thing up. Ended up also getting him some Nutri-Grain bars. These are strawberry. Yes, ma'am. I got him some Go-Go Squeeze. These are really going to be for his lunch box. These are not snacks. And then I got him some chips, some 42 bags. And it just has Cheetos, Ruffles, Fritos. He probably would never eat this. I don't know. Puffs sour cream doritos lays doritos he's not really picky but i don't know about this one but yeah that's gonna go in there and then this is his lunchbox bluey and it just matches his cup and then this is actually a book bag which i really do like and i think it's really cool it's just a car stain and he don't need no huge book bag honestly this is perfect but it's gonna pack i gotta pack his changing clothes in there they said um and all the other stuff and then here are his wipes so yeah i believe i have to put this and this in here um 
I'm hoping that's what they want. I don't really know. I really need to text them and ask or call them. But they said preferred text. But yeah, y'all, we're finna go ahead and set Tayden's snack van up. Alright y'all, so I just finished doing Tate and Snack Van. It is now all done. I mainly put like um, all his fruit snacks in there. I put all his Nutri-Grain bars and I just put the chips that I know he will eat because I know Tayden is very, very picky and you just never know with him. I decided that, like I said, this is going to be for his lunchbox purposes. So this is going to go in his lunchbox um, because... I don't know as that as a snack it can be a snack but i just know it'll be better if he ate it with his lunch i need to actually go ahead and wash out his cup tonight probably do that off camera though because i gotta do my dishes i gotta do them dishes like yeah asap get his lunch box oh get his lunch box situated and i don't know if i have to take out these diapers and put it in i'm just gonna leave it in there but they did say you i need to label everything because they did say that sometimes people don't label and they just don't know whose it is and then they have to put a guessing game. And I don't want nobody eating my baby stuff. So, um, baby, I'm putting everybody, I'm putting names on everything and I got to do that tonight and I got to make sure I sign those papers tonight and I got to make sure I pack one. I got a lot, of, I got a lot to do in such little time. It's literally 10 24. It's about to be 10 30. Um, so yeah, y'all, I'm finna go ahead and what am I finna do? I don't even know. I'm over here all over the place. They say I gotta put bring him changing clothes. So I guess I will go in. Let's let's go in the kids' room. Alright, y'all. So we are in the kids' closet. And I'm about to go ahead and pick him out some outfits. Um he has a lot, like a lot of outfits to choose from. Yeah, I'm in their room. Guess who's supposed to be asleep and ain't? And who's finna get in trouble? Everybody else is asleep but him. Changing clothes. I need to get him something. I don't know. Right now, he just has a lot to choose from. and Like a lot. Like, Tayden really has a lot of clothes. So, I'm going to run through here and see what I can find for his changing clothes. And then I'm going to see what his first day of school outfit is going to be. So, let me go ahead and figure that out. I ain't got a clue, bro. I'ma tell you this one time Boy, I want you to be mine I just got everything I think I gotta read the text or in the e well I gotta read the email I think she said two pairs of changing clothes and then I got his outfit I'm gonna show y'all when I get out there but I could have sworn she said two pairs of changing clothes if it's more I'll come back here and get some but um let me go out there because he really needs to be going laying down and he think he ain't gotta lay down because i got this camera but baby you gotta lay down okay i'll be right back all right y'all so i'm gonna show y'all the outfit i got him i got him this cardigan not cardigan flannel i think the flannel looks really nice i actually like this flannel i don't know why but flannels just look so handsome on him and then i just got these blue pants to match and i try to get something with some like um stretch to it because one thing about tayden 
he likes to be comfortable and that's what I'm gonna make make sure I'm focusing on when it's you know dealing with him going to school because he likes to be comfortable actually when he goes places and he thinks he's getting settled in one thing he will do is take off his shoes and take off his pants so I did let them know that he has a habit of thinking where he's settled in like this is oh I can just relax he takes his clothes off sometimes even his shirt and that's not okay like he can't do that um for changing clothes I didn't really go too much I did something that I wouldn't mind them ha keeping for a minute um but I got him these um Cherokee sweats gray sweats and then I just got him a gray shirt to go with it just in case and you know this is for if he uses the restroom he spills something on him or he gets dirty or whatever the case may be and then i got him some more gray sweats because like i said my baby likes to be comfortable he really doesn't have any denim pants like he has a lot of sweats and like joggers and like track suits and stuff like that just put this truck shirt with it so let me get my phone real quick i just need to make sure she said two outfits instead of more let me go and look at this email because i can't remember what she sent me she sent me a whole bunch of stuff and then they had me sign so much paperwork y'all like so much please send a lunchbox of items each day with all the necessary food items for that day a drinking cup with lid he got that a backpack and a lunchbox just like they use in school to transport any items to and from home at least two extra change of clothes just in case okay he needs socks shorts pants uh he don't need shorts but pants shirts and shoes okay so i guess yeah i gotta give him sh shoes to get Okay, well, if I give them shoes to keep, it, I don't like that. I don't like that at all. I don't like that the fact that they have to have an extra change of pair of shoes. Like, what are y'all doing? I don't know. You just, I guess that maybe they had incidents where they did. I don't know, but I think that's crazy. Make sure I don't give them, like, his best of the best shoes. It's going to definitely be something, like, you know. But, like, I, I, oh, I think that's what I was saying, his socks. Like... Tayden has a lot of Mitch match socks. I'm not the only mom out there where kids socks be disappearing and I hate to give them like extra socks that are Mitch match. So I definitely need to buy some tomorrow. I'm going to buy make sure I buy some tomorrow because I think that's ghetto. But yeah, y'all, I'm going to actually pack his uh backpack with y'all because um I need to get this out the way. I just want to get his stuff situated and settled so I don't have to keep on thinking about it does unzip normally right here just a little bit it's a little confusing but we gonna get it done Diaper bag is all packed, all nice. All I have to do is pack his lunch, which I'm gonna do with y'all in a second. But I'm gonna label everything off camera just because I don't have the right, like this pen is not working. So I need to find something to label this with. Now that I'm in my kitchen, I'm about to go ahead and do what I gotta do for his um, lunchbox. Now, I did went ahead and got some chicken tenders, which I think I'm gonna put in the air fryer tonight, just so, it can be in there and then it'll be cold obviously from overnight but i'm gonna cook it through and then all they gotta do is warm it up but um i went to target hopefully you will like these but they're just chicken tenders chicken breast strips and they look like this you'll eat these for no problem um i am not getting nothing tyson because baby last time i checked Tyson was having recalls and Tyson always having recalls like I don't know what what is going on 
honestly I prefer not to get Tyson I don't even really get Tyson meat like that because of the fact that they always have recalls and I don't know about y'all but in high school I remember watching like about like the birds and how they be breeding the birds and just watching how they do it and Tyson was the number one where they basically be putting steroids in them chicken that's why y'all chickens be so huge chicken ain't never used to be that big these chickens is huge I got this these um chicken breast I'm gonna put it in the air fryer that I got overnight then also I got um I because I use these for Layla's I got like your little yogurt cups and, um for his juices now he'll have his cup to drink or whatever but I'm gonna get him I don't know if they are allowed to do this like juice but I got let me show you this huge juicy box and it has different ones it has grapefruit punch apple and berry so yeah so this is what I was trying to find but I need to figure out where it is it has this to go inside which this is a lunch box itself you feel me but I like it because it has where is the insert I can't find the insert, but it actually has like an insert that you can put it in and it divides your food up. Think about it. I don't have a freaking divider. So, I knew it was something, y'all. That is not good. Because I was looking for these and it doesn't make sense. How is it? How is he going to use his lunchbox if he doesn't have a divider? Like containers to put. Ah! It's y'all, like the dividers and stuff. The dividers, like. Let me see if I can do like a late night mobile order. Do a late night um, DoorDash order because Meyer is open to 10:59. Well, there is they accept it to 10:59. I'm gonna see if Meyer Meyer should have it, but I'm literally using DoorDash because, honey. To go ahead and place the order off camera because baby they said i had five minutes left and i was trying to get it done okay get her done went ahead and did was went ahead and bought everything hopefully everything is nothing gets substituted but what i am gonna do like i mentioned earlier i'm gonna go ahead and put these in the air fryer i think i'm gonna put like two in the air fryer because depending on how big they are, two is fine because you still got to eat dinner when you come home. And then my rice, my jasmine rice, this jasmine rice is fire and put some rice in there. If not, I have, a, oh, I got corn in there. So I think I'll put corn because I don't know about the rice yet. He might not eat the rice. Chicken breast, corn, we'll make sure get a yogurt, some juice. And I did buy some grape shot on there, so I'm gonna go ahead and get this stuff together. Bless up, bless up, bless up, bless up. As soon as I wake up in the morning, I see dollar signs. It's the only thing that's on my mind. Other than pussy, you can't put me. All these poor faces on me, I feel like Tucky. So I ended up making his chicken tenders. These actually look and smell really good. Like I would actually eat these three because they were kind of small. But I know this would be really good for him. So I went ahead and put in the air fryer and then I put the corn. Yeah, I ain't never did this before, but I'm trying to do, be fast the whole time. I could have went ahead and just boiled it because I still have to wait for his order to get here for me to even put his, um, di not diaper bag, his box together. I got to wait for the containers to get here. So I'm going to go ahead and do my dishes after this. Um, but I did do the corn. It's in there, but when it's time to actually put it together, I'll really show y'all it. But I gotta wash out the Tupperware and everything like that. So, it ain't even ready yet. I need to go ahead and do these dishes because I know tomorrow morning, I'm not gonna wanna do dishes at all. <sighs> and yeah, y'all, I need something to drink. Like, I am thirsty. 
apple juice yeah okay yes i'm one of the moms that still put acts like i'm drinking wine whole time i'm drinking apple juice or some type of juice baby i don't even yeah look at that i don't even do the wine i haven't tasted liquor since after i got pregnant i mean since before i got pregnant is my look at my whoa that's not cute let me it looks like I got a mustache, baby. Let me go wipe this off. I definitely OD. I'm looking in the viewfinder. I definitely OD the lip liner. It's literally 11:17, and I need something to drink. I hope. I really do hope and pray that I'm not gonna get sick because I feel my sore throat, and I don't like that. But I got some hauls, so hopefully that soothes it. But baby, I feel it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna wash these dishes because I'm procrastinating. I'm up. I gotta be up to go get the package. What am I talking about? That's how you know I'm tired because I'm just talking, y'all. I'm gonna go ahead and do these dishes and then hopefully they're here, which I know they're not. Let me actually see where they're at. That's my check. Uh, they closed. Meyer closed at 12:04. I don't know which Myers they chose was the best one. But hopefully somebody gets my order soon. Thirty BDs, they know not to try. Too much respect. I used to hand out CDs before they would buy. Well, she loved me so much, it seemed like she buys. Niggas don't know how I live, but that's cause they live at the high. Hey. Full S thirteen, stepping on shit to the spot. He brought me the money sealed up. I still had to count it. I cannot just hide. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, let's have sex in the bank. Tell her to open a safe. I hate a privileged rapper who don't even know what it take. The diamonds they hit like a rainbow. That's cause the neck is a frame. Her. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, let's have sex in the nines. Do it. Breaking and bending the spines. Do it. I hate a privileged rapper that they had to hit six times. Do it. Niggas be full of excuses. That lady taking their time. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Look at me dead in my eyes. You see all the times that I had to go slide. Too many sticks. We go to war with whoever ain't never been by. Too many sticks. I was dead, yo, ops, and none of them died. Pussy. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Why you pull up at one in the morning and sit on the edge of the bed? What? Testing emojis. Tell got eggplant muscle went over her head. Catching my side of the studio. Make him repeat what he said. I definitely needed to do that. Um she's still shopping for my order so she hasn't said anything about a delay i'm not a delay Ooh, hold on she hasn't said anything or mentioned anything about substitution so that's a good thing um also y'all i ended up getting her baby hard lump some bottles she's still asleep by the way she should be waking up here for soon i'm gonna actually nurse her off my breast but i just checked on her she still is like asleep and everything and she's also listening to rain sounds water sounds and that type of stuff but y'all was telling me recommendations of different bottles but i've seen these on amazon and they look the most they look mimic the most as a breast because you can see this part um the nook bottles that i see somebody recommend they just didn't look like they would like i know what she's looking for but i just washed these i actually need to sterilize them two of these i just washed them out um because i've been using them all day today <sighs> because i've been giving her bottles because i want her to know baby you're drinking a bottle too you're not just on, on mommy boobs but let's go to my room because baby i'm tired so i'm in my room i just turned off her water music waking up she's literally right here So, we'll see if she ends up waking up, but hopefully she doesn't. I'm going to show you how this breast pump that I just got um, it before I use it. I got it off of Amazon. I'm not sure how it works because I haven't used it yet, but it's NCVI. First thing I seen was the nursing breast pads, and it comes with six, which is good. Um, I need needed some more anyways. I'm all out. But I already got a whole bunch. I bought some off Amazon. But these actually look like the ones that I bought. But 
add it to the stash of my old milk bags. Pump itself is in here. And then they have different little, you know, are these called flask? Different milliliters. Um, I'm going to see which best fits me. But here's a, some more sets. Actually come with their very own bottles. Ooh, I like these. Okay, so these nipples are different. Like y'all see how it got that fat top right there? I'm gonna have to wash these too. But it has that fat top and then this actually mimics a nipple. I don't know if you see like the ring around it, but this actually mimics a nipple and they gave me two bottles and the bottles. So they would initially look like this. These are some cute bottles. I like these actually. So we'll see how this works because maybe I'm learning. What is this? Okay, this is real fancy. This is this is cute. And that goes into here. This is for, I believe the wires for the breast pump. Let me just look at the instructions, okay? I kind of figured I put it together, so I got this part together. However, I don't know how to actually work it. So I'm gonna just play around with it and um, see what I come up with. Yeah, that was that. And then y'all, I got actually a little Target. When I went to Target, I bought some stuff because if you don't know, now you know that I'm actually about to launch my website. And I got me a new, um, macbook okay and the website i literally have to take some professional pictures on my own because we're doing it with this camera and then i need to do some video promos on this camera as well for the website so it's supposed to be up by march 1st um march 1st is when i'm going to be booking again for digital products if you're wanting to find digital products if you're not into the graphic designer business but if you're trying to get a youtube intro made flyers a website made i do it all and all that will be real soon okay i went ahead and bought a few things first things first i got this flannel which i probably am going to wear tomorrow i don't know i want to look cute on his first day but then i'm like it's not about me but I got this off clearance. It was $14. And I just got this really cute, like, camo. Not camo. Yeah, camo um, green color flannel. And I really just like flannels. And I know it's really not the time for a flannel. But I just think it personally looks cute. That's, that's why I got it, okay? And it was only $14 in the clearance section. And that's not bad considering that it's coming from Target. And I got this white, kind of cropped, not really cropped. I didn't want it to be super cropped because what I'm going to show y'all is the um, outfit I'm going to wear. If it fits, hopefully it fits. I didn't actually need to try it on right after I show y'all. But I got the white shirt to go under it. Just a regular white shirt. That ain't nothing special about that. Is the, what is it called? A, the suits for it. So this is actually a size two, okay? A size two, baby. However, this part is stretchy and they fit oversized. So it's supposed to meant to look baggy on you. So this is really my size. It should be at least. But they're pink, um, what are these? I call them like out office wear pants, but I know there's like a specific name for them. They were $32, baby. And Honestly, these might get returned um, if they don't work out. So I'm 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 gonna be that return person. I hate returning things, but if it don't work it and it don't fit, I'm not gonna keep it. And then here's the little suit, and it also have, has shoulder pads in it, which I like. And this was thirty eight dollars. Damn, this is actually an extra small. So yeah, it just, it's supposed to just meant to fit baggy, I guess. So. I'm actually about to try this on. I'm not going to show y'all because it's like a little surprise or whatever. But I'm going to try this on while I wait for the order to get here because she's not even. She, oh, 
she's heading to me okay she's close but she's not that close so i'm gonna go ahead and try this on and then i'll be back probably in the kitchen getting ready to make or finish um Tayden's food it's also 1207 y'all baby i'm tired i ain't even wiped off my makeup i'm tired all right y'all <clears throat> so it's 12 17 she just got here and i got more to this order but it ain't important i got the grapes the important part so this is the little containers i was talking about um they actually work perfect because they hold on they work perfectly because look look at the color scheme and these are adults like this is an adult one so this wasn't on purpose like i re just realized this fits the color scheme so that works i'm gonna go ahead and wash these out though because even though it's brand new people touch on it and all type of stuff oh and i think it comes with utensils one of those click off ones some of their oh snaps i don't think i'll give them this though i might give them the fork I'm definitely not giving him the knife fork because this fork actually looks kid friendly. Should fit so I can put his chicken tenders and corn in here. So that's what I'm gonna do. Ooh, that's what I'm gonna do after I wash him and pack his lunch so I can go to bed. <laughs> morning and I am exhausted. Six. <gasps> 26. I have to use the restroom. Be right back. I'm about to get ready to start getting Layla together. All she has to do, like I told y'all yesterday, is put on her clothes, wipe, wipe her face, and brush her teeth and all that stuff. It's literally that I have to get Tayden ready. Usually after I put Layla on the bus, I do my morning, like I'm gonna pump because I need to pump because I feel my breasts right now filling up with milk. And then baby uh, Harlem should be waking up here soon. So I'll feed her. I've been in my, okay, let me tell y'all what's tea. Because I haven't really talked to y'all about this because it just recently was a switch over. But I've been in my like spiritual journey however in a different way y'all remember when i used to sage when i used to talk about how you know i'm not christian or anything like that and all that other stuff um i don't know but something recently like i would say a few weeks ago god was just telling me like stop saging that's that is not just stop saging if you want to praise me worship me stop saging i think when my mom gave me some prayer oil it was a different type of lift off my house when i started putting prayer oil on around my house just to pray over my house then the sage and i'm gonna get into details later on when i'm talking about it because i think you're, you're not already but Sometimes you can be easily influenced because the whole reason why I was saging and um, in that in in that in a different spiritual aspect than what I am now is because of who I was hanging around with, who I, what I seen, and sometimes that can manipulate your mind thinking that you're doing the right thing the whole time you're not. Not saying who say who sages is doing the wrong thing, but I feel like. God didn't want me to go that way that you know he couldn't not convicted but he changed my mind certain things and then something told me like you don't gotta be Christian you don't have to be religious but I want you to get into your Bible and y'all know I used to be really into my Bible and 
then I stopped. I'll do it later at night if I can't do it in the morning, but it's a great way to start your morning off with God. Like when you start your morning off with God, it's so hard for the devil to get to you. And you just want to start, start off like right now. Thank you God for waking me up. Thank you God for allowing me to receive another day me and my kids you know so just start your day off with god because i'm trying to tell you your day goes on a smoother slate and you just gotta pray i feel like praying twice a day is good because at the end of the day you're st still things can still happen you know and i feel like sometimes the devil sends things your way to destroy you people he uses people to destroy you maybe change your energy and you know all this other stuff so all i gotta say is I'm thankful that I'm going in the direction I am going because honestly, I've been seeing things much, much clearer. But it is now 6.34. I'm going to go ahead and get Layla up and we're going to start a routine. So here we go. I'm the secret biggest fan of staying friends. We can chill with everyone. I need some more to jump in. This is her backpack. Now I like to go ahead. Hold on. I like to go in here because sometimes they bring home a purple floater, and this basically has like important stuff in it. But I just like to empty it out too because there's certain things we gotta leave at home, so that way it's just empty like this. Because one time, <laughs> I let it get so bad. And I knew I wasn't the only one. Um, but her teacher sent out a message to all parents saying, make sure y'all clean out y'all kids' folder. <laughs> and it's not like I don't see it. Because when she comes home, she brings home stuff every day. She's a kindergartner. And baby, I ain't never used to bring home that many. Like, no, I don't remember that being ki in kindergarten, bringing home, like, hundreds of papers. Like, I think all... <laughs> It seemed, you would think like the things that they bring home, you would think they just color on it, but they don't because I see the development in a Layla. I almost called her my sister name. I see the development in a Layla, so I know they're not just doing that, but they come home with so many drawings and pictures. Like, I don't know if it's an art class or what. This blue folder is Tayden's folder. I gotta sign these papers however my pens are not working so I need to find me a pen that works I put Tayden and then the initial of his last name and then his lunchbox is the same way I'm going to get her ready <laughs> Alright y'all, this is her outfit. She got her book bag and then her star coat and her shoes. You ready for school? Baby girl woke up, so I had to get her. I know, you hungry mommy? Okay y'all, she hungry, so I'm about to feed her. I'm gonna feed her for about 10 minutes because it is 7.35 and I'm gonna start getting trading ready. I hear him in there coughing. Um, they did say that it is okay if he has a little cough, it would be completely fine as long as um, he doesn't have a fever and it doesn't seem like it's like like it's too much to worry about. It's just a cough, honestly. So I don't think it be it should be anything crazy. I have two packages coming in the mail. Um, one's, I think, one's a sponsor, one I purchased. So her bassinet, um, <clears throat> we got her... Well, I got her a new bassinet because the other one I got rid of. So, um, this bassinet has a changing table. It's supposed to be really cute. And I can't wait to show y'all. So, I'm going to be putting that together with y'all. And then, um, the other thing is a sponsor. Um, this company sent me a new dresser for the kids. So, I'm going to be putting that together. Getting rid of that ugly dresser that's in their room. 
and I'm gonna start putting um <clears throat> clothes in there and I'm gonna organize it by everybody so yeah y'all that's that I'm gonna just continue to feed her she's literally like chopping good morning for your first day, mommy gonna miss you. <clears throat> like I said, y'all got his clothes. I got this flannel, some uh, food, sweats type of, not sweats, they're like cargo pants. With some socks. There you go. Lick your hand, shop. You lick your hand, shop. You hear the baby crying? Okay. Eh, these might be too small. And he was so excited to put his his um backpack on. It looks so cute on him. Let me see Tayden. <sighs> Look at you. Give me a high five. Um, y'all, I'm damn near finna cry, y'all. Because why is my baby already starting school? Why? All right, y'all. So I just dropped off Tayden and come here, Katie. Y'all, Kaden has been in his terrible twos, like, I don't know what's wrong with him. I literally sit down, he's crying now. Like, what's that all about? I dropped off Tayden, and literally, he is so familiar with the place because of all the times we went to go um, drop him off and everything. Not drop him off. All the times we went to, like, do his testing, his diagnosis, the tour, signing papers he's been up there a lot and he knows what's in there and he's been playing and stuff in there <laughs> so baby he was so excited to go he literally ran he literally ran and left me because we have to sit out in the car and wait for his therapist to come get him and i'm holding all this stuff and she's grabbing she literally he literally left her ran and I was like, okay, well, goodbye to you too. But I went in because I have to drop his stuff off. But I forgot his freaking lunchbox and cup at home. So I had to come back home and go back out um, to bring his uh, lunchbox and everything. So I just, I know he's really happy. He loves, loves it. But I pray everything goes smoothly. And, um, you know, just everything's okay. But it is 9.06 right now. And I'm actually about to just get my life together i'm gonna make my bed and do what i gotta do up in here before i do my bible study and get in a shower i need to also pump because i know she's gonna be waking up here soon um because she was kind of fussy in the car but all in all i'm just so excited that he was happy and that you know he wasn't crying and then just seeing all the kids that are like him and not having to be judged because i feel like you just never know and I used to be one of those people like before I had like uh, Tayden obviously or before his behavior started to be like a little noticeable that he had autism um, when I wasn't aware of what autism was um, I would see other people kids act out and people be like that could never be my child and all this other stuff but sometimes they're not acting out sometimes they're overstimulated and they may have autism or they may have um, a disability and outsiders looking in can't really judge because we are not aware of what that child is now there's a difference from a child being a spoiled brat and acting out than somebody that actually has a disability so I try not to put judgment on any child I, I stopped because I used to say that can never be my child I would never you know because you just never know what a child is going through or what a child has you know so I stopped that mindset and if you have that mindset stop that mindset too because like I said just never know just because you physically can't see it mentally 
it's it might be a whole nother ball game so don't have that mindset because i definitely was one of those people i'm gonna get my life together i'm gonna clean up my room make my bed like my candles i ended up giving kaden a little um squeeze pouch uh before i make a breath fix or whatever or do what i gotta do um he's in his room chilling but yeah let me go ahead and do this before she starts crying back up on my okay y'all so i finally just got freshened up harlem in my room literally she sleep knocked out and into his room plan so these are my two daily things it's 11 20 so i mean as long as I, I thank god for waking up i feel like that's just a must because my schedule is so hectic i have to do it at 11 20 and these are the highlighters i got from amazon and they literally come with 12 different colors and they're really like cute these markers and they're really nice and the thing about them is they have two sides so this is like the fine point this is the thicker point i really like that now you're probably like well how do you do your bible study like what do you do or whatever like that so i have an app on my phone it really doesn't matter what type of app you get as long as it does like verse of the day um that's all i really use it for because and that and like to interpret what i'm reading so like if i'm reading a scripture you know sometimes uh scriptures can be very confusing and you don't really understand it um fully so you have to actually get like a is it called amplify i think it's an amplify version don't quote me and with this app it's the daily devotion um, and it allows you to play music. This is not sponsored, but it allows you to play music like calm, relaxing music too. It's real cool. And like it says, it says verse of the day. And then I just tap it and it gives me the Amplify version and it gives me the King's James version. So y'all, so when you first open it, it has like your prayers, um, did God answer them and the dates, um, that has a few of those and then each month or each section has like um, a quote out of the Bible and you can reflect and highlight in the beginning and then I'm not going to show y'all but I have been using it just to give y'all proof. Are they going fishing? It just helps you do everything. So that is what I'm going to do for a little minute um finish this and then i'm gonna find me something to eat because i haven't ate anything i need to actually see where my package package is at because it was supposed to be i got two packages delivered today and i did hear a lot of bumping and it said between 10 and 2 so yeah it's still out for delivery let me track my other package because i bought this through walmart and it doesn't tell me who's delivering it 
So they both should come at the same time because it's coming from the same, I believe it's coming from the same FedEx trip. So that's cool. But yeah, y'all, I'm finna get to Bible study. Blame it on your lips, your touch, your kiss, you know, real traditional. But your love's too original. You were anything but too original. Baby, did you know that from the moment we fell in and knew we couldn't fall back? Knew I'd always crawl back. Cause baby, it's the everything for me For me, for me Baby, it's the everything for me For me, oh, for me Cause baby, it's the everything for me For me, for me Baby, it's the everything for me Having fun? Where Tayden? Uh, Can you say Tayden? Uh, say Tayden? Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Tell me why. Tell me why these people literally deliver my packages, right? And they are heavy. Well, one of them. The bassinet ain't heavy, which is that small one. But that long one? heavy baby like i can't even lift it i'm going to literally have to open it right then and there and build it because i'm not gonna be able to do it so it's 128 i'm about to make him some chicken tenders the same ones i got for Teddy and his lunchbox baby i'm gonna get those and make him some just so he can sit down and chill and i'm honestly gonna make me some too because they was good like them was the real ones but this is my package, that's the bassinet. I'm gonna put that together first. And then this is the dresser, cause they need a new one. So yeah. So good, y'all. I don't look for anything. Let me take a picture so I know in the future of what to get. get. Like these, look at them, y'all. Like they're super, super cute, like. Mm -hmm. you, you see the vibes the you feel me you you getting the vibes So I just changed his diaper, but I actually also just found a video on YouTube on how to put it together. Hopefully this works, so let's Okay y'all, so I actually just figured it out and I kind of did it on my own. Like the video helped, but it was a different model. So I basically just took what I know, knew from that video and here is the bassinets and i love it because it comes with extra storage bound down here and then you're able to put the flaps down and it's real deep y'all like it's real deep this might as well be a crib like it's huge like literally this might as well be a crib i like it also because you can put a changing table at the top to change her diapers but i don't know i just like the wood like it just looks really really cute Why is there so many freaking pieces? Like, pieces. I'm talking about pieces, y'all. Like, there's so many. And then, wait. There's more. Like, what? What, what is going on? Like, I'm not understanding why is there so many pieces. I'm just not understanding why there are so many pieces. So, actually, um, Tatum is in school. However, his dad will be picking him up 
so I don't have to worry about that. In the evening time, his dad is going to be picking him up. Um, Kaden and Layla just left to go to the park. So this is the instruction manual. Only been days, but it feel like months. Break off for you, only go like once. Life move fast when you do what you want. I guess I'm doing what I want. Hope you know what you want. I got the drawers made. I made, oops, and I made some behind me. Um, and then I also went ahead and made these. So these are the ones that don't. So they have different textures. So three of them are just regular pull-out drawers, and then the other three are with the handle. Just have these pieces left, and I'm actually on step four and i think how many oh dang okay well step four ain't hard it's just putting the inserts inside of the shelves It is 7.57, still not done. If you are a, and I can't even say that because I like putting stuff together. This is a lot. This is a lot. I'm still only on like low numbers. So I have to finish it because I already threw out their old TV stand. What I was going to do is just put all these pieces in the living room. You can hear it in my voice. You can hear that I'm just drained by this dresser. But I got to get it done. And my door, my order is not even here for me. Like, she's close, but I'm still going to be working on this. So, my mission is to be done by 8.30. If I'm not done by 8.30, I'm not finishing <laughs> until tomorrow like so serious and i just put the baby down and now she's crying again so oh my god i'm just gonna have to probably do this tomorrow because i'm stressing you better act like you know that i've been through worse to you I just changed the baby and it's the next day and it's the next day because baby I need a drill so we are going to drop Tayden off at school and then me and my mom is going to go to Walmart but knowing my mom we might end up going to Target because I know how my mom is like I know how my mom is we not the Walmart type of girls so what time is it? It is 8.13. Now, the, his school is right down the street. However, my mom likes to come early. It's like every time I'm on time, she ensures that uh, she's late. But when I'm running late, it's a wrap. I think my battery's about to die too, y'all. So yeah, yeah, we're on our way to the store. I'm gonna go ahead and get my hair done in Tarjay. We need to get me a new candle for the living room. Fine, it's a candle. There's some candles right here. Desert amber. Mm -mm. Three. No, I don't wanna get nothing I ain't happy, like fully, that I don't fully like. That's hard. 
Okay, we're gonna put both of them in there. I don't know what you wanna get it. Stuff too. Like, this is so cute. I can't wait to start decorating. A lot of cute stuff. You wanna give me a journal? I got a lot of them on sale in clearance too, but this one. This one will be $4.99. I like this one. This is cute. It's Violet's. Let the adulting begin. What's this? Oh, it's cute, but not something I would get. Ooh. These are a vibe. These are like aesthetically pleasing. Yeah. Hold on. This one big one, that's two packs. I just need one. I mean, I guess I can get this, but I really don't want that. Like this. How much are these? Ufa, I heard this Taraji P. Henson stuff is good. Let me see. I don't know, Taraji. I don't know. fan I'm gonna have to pass I do kind of need to get her some baby lotion do y'all use Aveeno or do y'all still use Johnson Johnson I like to use Aveeno but I need the lotion oh this one is eczema oh this one 14 now not about that let's see this one Light bulbs. I need to get my light bulbs and drill. I need to get come what I came here for. Bought light bulbs in so long, so I don't even know which ones I really should be getting. I want the circle ones. This is 40 white. This is LED. Oh. Daylight, soft white. I like this soft white. Soft white, soft white. We're gonna do soft white, but it's only three. So I'm about to get two. This is 1088. I don't need no expensive one. <clears throat> And then come with the drill bit, so this should be fine. Mm -hmm. You don't get this one. Okay. I need, I need to get trash bags, and that's really, I think that was it. Trash bags. Mirror. I 
don't need it though. I don't need it. I don't need it. He had him like little cute stuff. Walmart, okay. Like this is cute. Okay, Walmart. Yeah, that grilled cheese sandwich at the hospital. Ooh, wee. It's that yellow cheese. Oh, you talking about some? Are you talking ah. about that one? I'm going up to the cafeteria. Ah, oh, the the butter, the bread, everything. Ah, I need to fly at the hospital and work up there. <laughs> so I am now back home. Show y'all everything that I got. I'm some Starbucks. The girls I know don't eat me up. Don't eat me up. Now y'all was talking about how Starbucks was on. Like I was boycotting Starbucks, but baby, when I went to Starbucks, everybody and their mama was at Starbucks. So. I got my pink drink with strawberry puree in it. Fire. Fire. They didn't spell my name right, but you know, I give them some an A for effort. And my grilled cheese is kind of. Okay. I ain't had this in so long. But anyways, I don't know if it's because I'm pregnant or what, but I'm pregnant. What the heck? I don't know if it's because I'm not pregnant no more, but this don't taste the same. Like, it don't taste the same. And not just saying because I'm not pregnant, but you know how, like, after you have a baby, you don't like certain things anymore? I still like my pink drink, but there's something about that um, grilled cheese. I don't know if it's the cheese or what. Y'all, I'm gonna go ahead and show y'all everything that I got. I was looking for Layla some like clothes or whatever, some like new clothes just to add to her wardrobe. And they didn't really have a lot of cute stuff. Like I really was, you know, to, Walmart usually be having cute stuff for the kids, but I just got her some black basic leggings. They go with everything. I feel like black leggings wear out really fast. Like the color just looks very dingy after a while. Then I got her this butterfly shirt which I thought was really cute. I heard this shirt that says cool vibes and then some gray sweats. So that's what I got for her. Also in this bag, I got some moisturizer. Well, it is a moisturizer, but lotion for really all the kids, but mainly for the baby. Um, Harlem needs it because she doesn't really have lotion, lotion that's meant for her. So I got the Aveeno baby lotion basic scent that's fine but i like stuff with, i don't know like when i smell a baby i want to smell a baby you know you know that baby smell next one i got the boys some boxers they're gonna go on a potty training i'm gonna make a chart i'm gonna actually probably do a mobile order because i forgot that i i needed to go somewhere else too i'll probably see if i can do an instacart order but i'm gonna make a little chart chart is going to be like a potty training chart and they're going to get rewarded stickers snacks when they go on the potty and it's going to be for Tayden and Kaden okay we I got these for him and then I got Tayden the Marvel so that has Hulk Spider-Man all that stuff on there and we finna use these I got briefs um they never wore what well, Tayden has I put him in some uh briefs before but I had never put Kaden in any but we're gonna start wearing these and we're gonna go start going to the potty, okay? Um, y'all remember the socks that I got Tayden a few days ago for school? They're actually too small. They actually are more like Kaden size. Um, he's probably even too, his feet might be even too big for those. But I just got some Cocomilla socks like this, got some Cocomilla ones. And, um, yeah, and then I got Layla some more socks because her socks are disappearing too. And she just has all the princesses on them. And I got me a loofah because I needed me a loofah. I be seeing the girlies on TikTok, the girlies on YouTube use this toothbrush. And it's the Oral-B um, Power Toothbrush. And I like it because it has like a skinny top to it. Foot drills were all caged up. I saw this for $10. All I need is something to screw and not hurt my hand. With this dresser and i'm good i went to target i spent 58 dollars i got two journals because i needed journals i mean, i don't know every year i go on this like journal looking spree because i like to do different things with them sometimes they're for my business sometimes they're just for me to vet and just really just think, talk out loud but 
I got these two. Don't know what I'm going to use them for. I got one that says notes. Coral green color. And then this one just reminds me of black people. So I really just really got it. But I got these two. And I think these are really cute. They fit the aesthetic. They fit the vibes. Bought me a little face mask because I do want to do a face mask. Um, I don't know if today or probably Saturday when I do my self-care routine, honestly. I don't know. We'll see, but this is a aloe vera mask. And then, y'all, I have these, but I have these collagen under eye masks that I have a lot of. And I'm probably going to put them under my eyes. Um, I think the baby crying. She's crying. I'll be right back. Like I was saying, I'm going to do um, the under eye mask or whatever um, under my eyes probably today. And I'll probably save this for my self-care video. Got these cute little utensils. They were $5 each, and that's probably a lot for some utensils but i think they're cute and they're you know they aesthetically pleasing they're you know they're cute in the wood and i've used this a lot for my ground beef like this type of spatula and then this is like a spoon ladle do people say that but yeah i just got two i thought these were really cute they fit the vibes candle person if you walk in my house i'm always going to be burning a candle because i love candles so the two i got and they're by threshold i knew those are gonna be some good candles but they're huge y'all like they're huge they're big this one is called masala rose oh my god like it smells so i don't even know how to describe it i'm bad at describing scents even if i did know how to describe it <laughs> i don't even know how to describe it but i just think it smells really good and yeah i got this one looking for a good candle that smells good and it's big go to target this one is um santo and ginger and this just gives me a little bit of cinnamon a little bit of peppermint i don't know it just gives me some type of like spearmint scent i just said like three different types of scents but y'all get it it's like one of those type of candles i don't know definitely gonna burn one of them right now in the living room we'll figure it out that is pretty much everything that i got from the store i'm actually about to put everything in its place i'm probably gonna chill for a second and then i'm gonna go ahead and um get started on this dresser because i have to finish that dresser i, I have to finish it today y'all i really do Okay, y'all so i just finished the dresser now i will say whoever they might hate me for this but i'm gonna be honest with y'all i'm not gonna lie to y'all make it seem like this is all easy peasy whoever did the alignment on this dresser did not do it right because the drawers are off track and i literally drilled undrilled things just to see if it was me but no it's literally the holes in the alignment of the dresser is not done correctly so i will let them know that this dresser is not aligned correctly however this is what it looks like i mean it's a nice big dresser and then it has storage down there but as you can see it's not aligned how it should be so that's frustrating um they're nice no, 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 that that is not trash. It's off track, so I'm not even gonna stress it. But I mean, it's a cute dresser. If you guys want to still check it out? Links will be in the description box. Nice dresser, just very, very, very tedious. So with that being said, I'm just gonna go ahead and take their underwears and stuff that I usually would store in this basket, and I'm gonna put it inside the dresser, just because I mean, it's literally like I have no place to put this. So their underwears, their socks will be in here. Yeah, and then I'm gonna put some, fill it up with clothes that um, I feel like at least, I don't know, who clothes should I put in here? Should I put everybody clothes? I just don't wanna make this just our everyday use because I know for a fact that I don't wanna mess it up. But I know the top drawers are cool, so we're just gonna do those. Oh, 
stain i don't know if the camera's picking up but i do have a stain right there it's got a package and i already know it's the baby monitor so i'm gonna open it up to some front side okay so this is the baby monitor oh baby this is some luxury packaged up and i thought it came with two cameras but it only comes with one how the camera comes is nice this definitely will be going in the kids' room. This is what it looks like. This is, this is nice, okay? Nice and big screen with a screen protector on it right now, but I'll peel it off in a minute. Airs, cords, and then once I figure out how to put it together, I'll be back and I'm gonna show y'all me. Hey love, so as mentioned, this baby monitor is from Paris Room. This baby monitor is not your typical baby monitor. It has a 2K HD resolution with 355 degrees pan and 150 degrees tilt. And it also allows you to zoom in four times features for better viewing. And they also have a way that you can do three-way audio and multiple viewers at the same time. I like it because you're also able to add an SD card, being able to save all your baby's footage or any pictures that you want to keep to yourself. Not only do you get real-time motion, it also has crying detection to make sure that you are aware when your baby is crying. Also, if you have a newborn like me, it also gives you an opportunity to do a feeding alarm reminder on your baby monitor, allowing you to never forget a meal or if you're asleep throughout the night, you're able to be woken up by this baby monitor to remind you to feed that baby, okay? <laughs> I love this baby monitor because it has so many different features that you can choose from. Such as my favorite, you're able to talk through the camera allowing your kids to be able to hear what you're saying on the other side. And it also has a nightlight function and my kids absolutely love this. So for all my mommies out there that are interested in purchasing this, make sure you check out my description box with all the links and use the coupon code. That way you're saving some coin on your baby monitor. Also, me and Paris Roan have decided to partner up to give you guys a free baby monitor. So check out all the details in the description box for giveaway instructions. Okay, y'all, so as y'all seen, I just installed the monitor. Oh, it is so nice. One thing I love about this, this is not your traditional baby monitor, baby, at all. Like, at all. Go get you one, okay? It has so many different functions. So, as y'all see, it's mounted on my wall. However, if I screw it off, I'm able to... um obviously port it wherever I want to go so wherever I need it to be say I wanted to watch the baby um I can watch the baby and put it by her crib or something like that and it doesn't have to be in the kids room like if they're at school and I need to see the baby I can put it where you know she's at which I absolutely love and then the actual monitor does so much y'all you're able to talk so say they're not sitting down like, I'm going to try it tonight. I'm going to see. And if they're not sitting down, which is going to probably be this one right here, um, I can talk and say, hey, sit down. And it, you can hear it off of the... That is so raw. All the links will be down in the description box below. Check it out. This is nice, y'all. It has so many different zoom functions, brightness. You can play music. Say I wanted to play music on the, on the camera. It plays music. Y'all, this is nice sd card in it so i believe you can like save footage on here but i am in love with this like in love and you also have an option if you want to show the light i like to show the light because i want them to know baby i'm watching y'all <laughs> i'm watching y'all i am going to actually now um probably just settle in um until tomorrow tomorrow i am going to be doing my video shoot with my sister for my website 
and um yeah that's an important day tomorrow so i think today i'm just gonna call it a day because i was really just waiting for that baby monitor and then tomorrow y'all will see me doing the video shoot for my website so i'll catch y'all tomorrow good morning y'all it is the next day actually already put kaden no not kaden took Tate to school and put Layla on the bus um so it's around like what time is it it's 10 08 and yeah so i actually did a little run i didn't have my camera with me that's why i didn't take y'all with me and then plus it was like i went to dollar general and the scene was just not seeing okay but yesterday i mentioned that i'm going to do a potty chart and then it really dwelled on me that i want to do a chore chart as well with all the kids that way alayla can feel like she's a part of what's going on so one of them is going to be um so i got two poster boards okay so one is going to be in the bathroom for the potty chart and then one is going to be in their closet what's wrong with you what use your words what's wrong one is going to be in their closet as well for their chore chart and they're going to all have their names so it's going to be layla tatum and kaden and then for the potty charts it's going to be tatum and kaden so i got that and then i got a few things to help me with it so at first i was like oh snap i grabbed everything i forgot stickers and i was like dang they ain't got no stickers but it was at the end of the cap so I got a whole bunch of stickers because they were only a dollar. So I was like, why not? I got stickers for pretty much everybody, what they would like. So Tatum really, I mean, Kaden really likes cars. So I got him some car stickers. And then I got some like taco food, pizza, and all types of stuff, different foods. And then Layla's really gonna like this one. This is Minnie Mouse. Um, all of them should like this. This is Baby Shark. Then I have Mickey Mouse. I grabbed a whole bunch of y'all. It was just a dollar. Then I got some stars, which is basic. And then a smiley face. So got a whole bunch of stickers because kids, believe it or not, they love stickers and they like feeling rewarded with things. Um, however, I feel like I need to come up with something like, okay, well, if you do everything correctly this week, I don't want to say, okay, you did something good today. Here's a snack. I don't want to be like that. I want to do it like, okay, you did everything good this week here's something so i think i want to look get like a bin full of like get, go to dollar tree not dollar general actual dollar tree and get like a bucket full of like toys and stuff they can choose from but only if you do good you know it's nothing like feeling rewarded because a sticker is cool but when you fill up your stickers i want like an end result like okay well this is how you get a reward like a real reward so yeah that's the stickers then I got a ruler because I want this chart to look cute. I want it to actually be, actually, I was really thinking about laminating this. So, um, well, I couldn't even laminate it anyways, because now that I think about it, the stickers will have to come off. So I'm going to have to make it to where it's for at least a month, at least a month, okay? But I got a ruler just so my lines could be precise. I haven't <laughs> used a ruler in so long. Um, I got skinny markers to write on, and then I got that, the wider markers to like color in stuff. I don't know how I'm gonna do it, but I'm gonna do something, y'all. Um, but yeah, these are just washable markers. And then I got, a sharpie for the main lines and then i got me some ballpoint pins because i need this actually for my journal hopefully this is the right ones because i only write with a certain type of pen i hate like non-gel pens yeah i think these are the gel pens yeah they are but yeah i got some gel pens as well but that's what I got. I am excited to create this. I don't know how I'm going to create it, but I'm going to create it somehow. Um, I just want my kids to be realizing that it's more to life than just playing with your toys and watching TV. Responsibilities. Because when kids know they have responsibilities young, they know this is a habit, it's a routine, and they can get it in their head that, okay, this is something that, this is like, this is real, you know? 
Um, but yeah, and I also want to just basically just be more interactive with them. It also helps with me be more interactive with them and know like, okay, well, did you do this? Um, and then to this morning, like I noticed like I'm making these kids beds and they can make their own bed. <laughs> so like making your bed, when Layla gets out the bed, I need her to make her bed. Um, did you do this? Did you do that? I just got to think of chores and stuff that each one, cause you know, they're different levels. I just want to make sure I'm doing it to where they are able to understand them. But yeah, yeah I'm going to do that later on today. I just want to kind of show y'all me, um, not show y'all me show y'all the things I got for it um actually today we're supposed to we're supposed to do not quote me if not today someday this week we're but we're supposed to go to the library with me and my sister she spoke we're supposed to like get a room and do my promo shoot for my website I really want to get that done today because honestly I think it's it's just it's just needed I just need it for my site before March 1st and tomorrow is the last day of this month so I need it to be done this month like a February yeah yeah I'm gonna actually get myself together I'm probably gonna do my makeup and stuff like that um I told I think I told you I was gonna do it on camera with y'all but not in this vlog I honestly just want to do it off camera I'll probably do a TikTok video or something but yeah, yeah I'm gonna get myself together just in case we end up going I'd rather be together than not together okay so I'll I'll see y'all in a minute and I'll let y'all know if we're going. day um i should have inserted some i think i did don't mind my baby hair y'all it look a mess it's the morning time it is 9 35 um Layla and is at school it's just kaden and baby vana today i didn't really talk as much when i was vlogging as far as um the photo shoot video shoot but the pictures are bomb the website is looking bomb so yeah y'all today is going to be the last day of this weekly vlog because my weekly vlog is very long super long so um i also wanted to show y'all the website and everything like that before i launch and then y'all know i told y'all about the potty chart and the chore chart i made that too i hung it up yesterday and we're going to start using it um probably later on this evening um, this morning was a little rocky. You know, we're still trying to get everything together. So, yeah, y'all. Yeah. Um, I kind of explained it to them, but they still haven't used it yet, so they really don't know. Layla kind of gets an idea, but she still doesn't really know. She doesn't really want this bottle. She doesn't really like this bottle because the nipples are so long. I thought it would be perfect, but she likes the other ones that I got. So, I'm kind of... I'm probably going to switch them because I don't want this to go to waste, but... She's really not hungry, y'all. She just wants something to soothe her. Um, I'm also right now doing my Bible study. Um, I needed to go ahead and do my Bible study or whatever. And, you know, give my time to God or whatnot. But, yeah, today really is nothing special. I'll probably cook dinner with y'all. Um, but today I do need to give her a bath. Um... So I might do that on camera with y'all. And then I'm also going to be uh, getting ready for launching my website tomorrow. So I'm just so excited, y'all. Honestly, it's just a lot I still have to do. That's why today I'm really not going to be vlogging a lot. But y'all know this vlog already long. Y'all be liking the long vlogs. So here you go, baby. So actually, let me pull up my website before my camera battery die. Because my camera battery is about to die. I'm going to show y'all. Look. Hi. No hi today? Okay. At my screensaver. That just tells you what the website about to look like. Is my site. Look at it. Boom. Oh, snaps. So, obviously, I did like a little video shoot as well. So, that's cute at the top. Um, and then here is the website. 
spoon. Okay, different things I offer. Meet the designer. Like, look at me. This was all done off of this camera. And I just basically finessed it and it looks so nice. Like, take a class or a course. Baby, like, start branding your content. Like, I'm not done, but that is just the gist of everything, and I love it. I love the video playing at the top. I just love it. It just looks so freaking professional, like, yeah. That is pretty much my site. Um, if you're interested in any ebooks, I offer different ebooks. I'm also going to be selling a uh, mommy planner. So even if you're not wanting an intro or outro or website design or anything design purposes or taking a class or a course, I am selling mommy planners. So if you're a mom, I'm going to be selling digital mommy planners that you can download on your phone and it helps you keep track of doctor's appointments, um, your weekly to-dos, monthly to-dos, shopping lists, mental health check-ins, all types of stuff. So that will be on the site for you to purchase and if you're not interested in none of that support your girl by buying an ebook period but she's being fussy so i'm about to go ahead and take care of this and i'll probably be back with y'all later on in the evening just got myself dialed up i'm actually going to the mall and i'm only going because my mom was like hey girl you want to go tomorrow and i was like yeah you know what I kind of do because tomorrow, not tomorrow, on Friday, I'm doing like a self-care day. So I kind of need an outfit to go out or whatever. So that's what I'm doing. Baby Vanna is also being fussy. I just changed her diaper. But we are going to get ready to go to the mall. Here's the outfit of the day. Just a flannel, leggings, period. You know the vibes. But I'm about to go ahead and get her together and um, Kaden together. That way we can go ahead and head out to the mall. Just didn't want to throw y'all off guard because y'all was, I just was talking about how I was not going to do too much. Now I'm doing too much. So, yeah, y'all, I'll catch y'all at the mall. Bless up. Bless up. Bless up. As soon as I wake up in the morning, I see dollar signs. It's the only thing that's on my mind. Other than pussy, you can't put me. All these poor faces on me, I feel like Tucky. Pound and pain, I'm pretty close, I mean, I'm really high. If I leave the house, I can't sleep when I'm coming back. Ain't no sound of mouth, I just walked out and blew some bread. You can smoke what you want, bro, just crash some pack. Look at this bitch all over me. Look at my wrist all through. Look at my shirt from all the city. That don't make me no hope. That don't make me more hopeful. Everywhere you go, they know you can't be anti-social. I can sleep sometimes. I need peace of mind. Bro, that we don't fight. I say you need be with them. If she would be, she mine. If she would be, she fine. Oh, mine. Yeah, that's separate. This one doesn't have a price tag. Okay, I can check it. L-E-M-I-N-G. Boots of hope. I think they are go back. You want to look at them? Yeah, them cute. I don't like the heel, though. Keep from the bottom, <laughs> <laughs> no, he didn't bring those. It's yeah. another one. <laughs> Thank you. You're I am back home. Paint on my hair. I kind of look like somebody cholo. <laughs> I'm not even going to lie to you. But y'all know what it is. Two Kroger's to get some stuff for the tacos tonight because I want some nachos. So I got that. But I ended up going to Forever 21. And I just want to kind of show that everything I got. Everything was on sale. Some of it was also 60% off the actual red ticket items. So I'm going to just go ahead and show you everything. I got this bucket hat. And this one just says Palm Beach on it. 60% off $7. And I thought this was really cute. So it was 60% off of $9. But this definitely gives like vacation vibes or summertime vibes. Even Easter eggs. So... 
I thought this was really cute. The sweater was on the clearance section. <coughs> it was only twelve dollars. It's like a, a like a turtleneck with um, it's like a crop turtleneck, and I like it because the sleeves are like big and then it goes in. So like it's real cute, y'all. Like real cute. I really like this. So I end up actually getting another hat. This is a brown like tannish hat okay it's a size large so it's gonna fit big which i don't mind but i like it because it just reminds me of like a it's like a cardigan but not cardigan it's like a good material it reminds me of like something that i would wear like at a business event or something like fancy got this little um turtleneck it's a size large I like it because it goes like high at the front and it's low at the back. It's camel green bodysuit. This is a size medium. It's actually a thong one. But this is also cute for like the summertime, honestly, because a spaghetti strap, unless you was to put like a cardigan or something over it. Bing. But it's just like this long sleeve. Um, it gives me like um, college girl, dorm girl, but it says Augusta on there. And it's really cute. It's actually cropped and it has like a little collar, but it's knit. So, yeah. Mustard color cardigan. Super duper cute once again. I'll cook dinner and then um, get dinner ready. And then I'm going to close out this vlog because I am ready to edit this vlog and post it because I need it to be up by Saturday and it's Thursday. So, yeah, y'all. I am going to cook dinner and then we're going to call it a wrap.